Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the next episode of The Sopranos. This is season three, episode six, titled University. It's been a blast watching this season and this series in general. Last episode was the Another Toothpick. You guys in the comments basically let me know what that was in kind of reference to about the whole cancer thing. Um, it's actually really sad, like everything, like everything, like all the stuff that we're learning right now, like Uncle June has been diagnosed and, you know, we just kind of like lost somebody. Um, I forget what the characters' names are. Like, you guys have to forgive me. Like, definitely I'm going to be doing another watch through of this, like all, all, like completely all the way through so I can like kind of like experience it all, you know, um, in its um, grandiose uh, epicness. Um, this one's University can't really remember if we're, if we're setting something up, but I know that Meadow took the lamp that has the, the thing inside of it, so maybe they're going to try to get it back. I don't know. Other than that, maybe there's still something going on with Meadow and the guy and Tony's being not racist, I guess. Um, he's just whatever. Uh, we'll see what happens going forward, but I'm just eager to hop into this. Like, I just recently put the season two finale up on YouTube. Like, it just went up. Like, it's taking forever doing the background checks and the copyright processes and all that, but it, it makes me want to just, like, kind of want to hop back in here and just kind of see what the show's going to do and just take me, and let's just hop in, have a good time, discuss it afterwards, but before I do, I do want to remind you guys, Patreon for the full-length, uncut, unedited reactions, as well as early access to everything else you see here on the channel, as well as exclusive reactions, so if any of that interests you, hop on over to Patreon, of course, if you can't start over there, go support me right here on YouTube, all you gotta do is like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, now let's stop talking, hop in, have a good time, discuss the afterwards. Alright guys, here we go. Alright, what's going on? The guy on 13th Street. I told him, uh, go see Gigi. You call Beansy? Gigi, Beansy, us Italians, I think we're the only ones who use nicknames to that extent. I'm sorry. What's the matter, huh? Nothing. Um, Tony? I do, sweetie. Good, good. I took Danny to the doctor, like you said. Okay. My son? Oh, yeah, 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 right, right. How's he doing? Good. You were right. Just a chest cold, not pneumonia. I'm glad to hear it. I made you some bread. Thank you. Tracy, right? My bread's very sweet, but you can't be doing stuff like this. No good. Let's go, Betty Crocker. Okay. Yeah. Here he is. Fresh Prince of New Jersey. Sit down. Have some meat. No, I can't. Dino Zarelli's out in the car. What? Why don't you go bring him in? Next time. Mm. I'll leave him in the mailbox. What am I? The invisible man here? Hey. Hey, man. Your sister around? She decided to stay at school and study. Uh oh. You're going to go visit Meadow? Stay out of trouble. Every advantage is kid. College, good home life. I had to quit school in 11th grade. Helped my mother. Supposed to be an architect. Mm. I thought you were cute. All right. Gosh. <laughs> I knew it. What's about to happen here? Damn. Uh, hello. I'm sorry. What now? I just don't know where else to go. What the? The door's just unlocked? What's going on? You guys hanging out? No. Where? Wanna join? <laughs> Caitlin, we talked about this. You can't keep exposing yourself to things that upset you. Why is other people's pain a source of amusement? Hmm. Caitlin, what the hell are you doing? It's just a habit. A bad habit. It's obsessive compulsive. I'm gonna head upstairs. Oh, don't go on account of me. Well, you kind of ruined the mood. You're kind of weird. He's like, God damn it. Please don't be mad. I'm not mad. It's just your oh, you're mad. Moody, you know? I think I miss my ferrets. I'm sure coming here has been a culture shock for her. Yeah, why didn't you? I mean, for us, L.A., New Jersey, you know, we're kind of used to the mean streets, you know? Okay. New York's probably a little overwhelming. Maybe we should try and be patient with her. 
<laughs> what? Nothing. You're sweet. Most guys wouldn't even give a shit. Well, I'm not most guys. Ugh, this guy. Oh, shit. We're really doing this. What the hell? Do you have time? Damn. It's kind of weird that we're watching this whole entire process. Is she gonna be. Is, is she a virgin? And she's nervous, she's like covering up. Hmm. Yeah, she's scared. Hi. Hey, what are you doing home? Don't you have class? It's Friday, only in the morning. Oh. What are you so happy about? It smells great. What is that? It's a bunt cake for AJ's fundraiser. Nice shoes. Is Daddy home? Oh, he's upstairs. What's with you? You seem. What? Oh, damn. You know what it is, Carmela. So, uh, how was school? What's new? Caitlin's still a pain. She cries over, like, everything. Is she gonna make him as, like, I slept with what's his name? Nothing a straight jack I wouldn't cure. Sorry, I forgot. It's Mr. Sensitivity who doesn't have any problems of his own. Uh, you suck. Jesus Christ, what the fuck already? Give us some slack, Tony. She's under a lot of strain. What the? Whoa, you're on the post tonight, honey. Why the hell's Mandy in? VIP work, VIP prices. Damn. Plus a blow oh, job to me later on. It's like an ad for a fucking weight loss center. Before and way before. <laughs> okay, let's stop breaking balls. Before and way before. Hey, baby, I was wondering why you were. Oh, 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 fucking kiss me. How many cops you suck tonight? Go on. Give me a drink. What the hell? Who's Tony? How many cucks, cocks you suck tonight? They're gonna find this piece of shit in the trunk someday. Yeah. Hey, come on. All hey, we can come do. on. Hey. Dude, hey, what the fuck is this problem? He's out of control, this old box. Kick him out. Why is he like this? Come I don't on, get man. it. I am father. Just thing. To a murdered. Hey, come on. Son, husband. Oh, okay. Murdered wife. Come on. Ow. I'm blind. What's the matter with you? What are you, hopped up on something? What did you do? Oh. Nothing. We were fucking around. Oh. It was an accident. Stop being such a crybaby. Take him to the emergency room. Come on, pussy boy. Pussy boy? I ought to beat this motherfucker's ass. To put her out of your mind. Duh, if I could do that. Sex. Maybe you should find her a guy. Don't you have any friends? <laughs> do you really think I'd subject one of my friends to Caitlin? Yeah, what the fuck? I have an idea. Why don't we take her out, you know? Like to celebrate. How do you know her birthday's you coming up? Mm. Get her drunk. Maybe it'll cheer her up. I mean, she's bad enough so She would be like sucking three dicks yeah, know, <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> what? Come on, we've all been here before. Not bad, Chrissy. Not bad. I'm running ragged here. Mm -hmm. I wanted to work 18 hours a day. I could hey, you out. wanted the promotion, man. Like they'd fucking hire him. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I have to get up really early tomorrow. Have fun, I'm bye. LA and my friend Josh. Thanks for the night. That's high school I didn't tell you. No. I'm sorry. I thought I did. Anyway, he's coming in and we're going to head up and see his brother at Hampshire. Try and get some rest, okay? Is he a fuckboy? I kind of had this feeling he was a fuckboy. He just wanted to fuck Meadow and get it and quit it, basically, right? Just to say he did. You fuck Meadow Soprano! Hi, hi. When did you come in? Just now. Sorry, were you sleeping? Mm, yeah. What do you want? Ugh, having mm. kids sucks. <laughs> it just it looks like it sucks. Paying for that dorm room. It's Caitlin again. I can't sleep there. Forget about studying. And how are things with Noah? Oh boy. I was going up to Hampshire College with his friend from LA. He said he told me about it, but I know he didn't. Don't you think that's weird that he would just do that? I don't really know him. And his friend Josh? I mean, I guess he's okay. Do I know Josh? And Jackie Jr. says hello. Probably Jackie Jr. and Meadow are gonna get together. One minute he's all affectionate, and then the next he's like a totally different person. Hmm. 
Go ahead and miss know it all and Meadow Where doesn't know. Are you in love with this boy? I don't know. I guess so. We had sex. I mean, at this point, it better be. Oh boy. At what point? What does that mean? But we are so not having that conversation. Ugh. Well, get out of my bed. Um, what? Kitcher! My goodness! Meadow here? Uh, she paged me. She's at her parents. I figured something like this is gonna happen. Why? Wanna hang out? I'm writing my paper. You mind if I just sit and study then? I'm fine, really. It's just, you know, it's creepy up Would there. she make a move on him? Well, this, I guess this is gonna be the first test, right? Because she's vulnerable, reasonably attractive. And if he's a scumbag, he will prey on her. If he's not, he will continue doing his paper. Big test right here. Oh, poor guy. What, are we short? Well, who are we missing? Uh, Tracy. Left sick on Saturday. Haven't seen her since. For three days? Fucking what? So it's what, Wednesday now? Or Tuesday, Wednesday? Okay. Guess nothing happened. But Noah's too nice of a guy, apparently. C fucking minus, and it's all her fault. How? The questions, the whining, the crazy goddamn nonsense. I mean, she starts crying about her economics class. She doesn't get it. So, I guess. So you're blaming a C minus on her? I'm talking primo notes. That's hilarious. Could have just told her to get out. She doesn't understand my writing. What does this word mean? Blah, 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 blah. I mean, I know I'm the RA, but technically, she's not even on my floor. You're the RA. Huh. Did I know this? It's not that bad, okay? I want options when I graduate, Meadow. I'm going to law school in two short years. A C minus is fucked for me. You'll make it up. Hmm. She almost was uh, matching with the beat of the music. The little do 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 do. Is that alright, honey? Fine. Is that a pop tart? Rafi. What now? I'm coming. Where's Tracy? Three days she missed work. I've been sick, Sil. Oh yeah? I called your house. You haven't been there for two days either. I would see her. Ralph's taking care of me. Scotty either. You got a little kid at home. Oh, where do you get the ball to come here? Three grand is cutting for me. And where do I get my fucking balls? Go on, get out of here. Let's go. Now get in the car. This guy's such a dick. I'm gonna kill you. Why didn't you tell me this place was so fancy? Calm down. It's just my father. Believe me, it'll be nothing compared to meeting your father. Hey, Dad. Is his father Man. someone important? How's the flight? Well, aside from Tim Daly chewing my ear for an hour, it was wonderful. The guy from Wings? He did his deal for Fugitive. Usually I enjoy a late in New York. It's the only time I get to do some real work. Unbelievable. He flies first class, personal DVD player with any movie he wants. Oh! God, it must be so exciting being an entertainment lawyer. Get to meet all the celebrities. It beats working for a living. So, Meadow, what business is your father in? Uh-oh. Uh, actually, um... Trash. He's in waste management. Huh. Toxic chemicals, medical waste, that sort of thing? Yeah, sort of. Uh, environmental cleanup? Mm. Couldn't you try talking to her at first? At this point? She thinks we're her friends. When the girl was ruining our lives, think about it, we couldn't do anything without her. What a weird in. turn this took. We certainly couldn't take her to see this. Like, he was all caring at first, and now he doesn't care after they had sex. That's crazy. Oh, what, not even a hello? Fuck you, asshole. Oh, oh that's nice. Very nice. <laughs> that's how you talk to a man in front of his friends? <laughs> yeah, right. What man? Oh! oh. Double. oh. He's gonna beat her. I like this girl. <laughs> women, women, women. Why was I born handsome instead of rich? 
Yeah, same. What's the matter with you? Fuck you. Three days you don't call, even to see how I am. Baby, I'm busy. I gotta work. How else am I gonna take care of you when you're nine months pregnant? Oh. We'll get a little house. I know that guy who was a mortgage broker. Really? Ralphie? No, don't. I love you. He's gonna throw her or something. I don't trust him. Are you out of your fucking mind? Get any motherfucking piece That's of shit! That. Damn. He's gonna accidentally kill her. Yeah, she's going over. Yeah. Damn. He's disgusting. I think you killed her, man. Look at you now. He's just gonna leave her like that. That's fucked. What happened to you? Oh, Tracy. She slipped. We were arguing, I don't know. She fell. Dude, you're a piece of shit. Are you kidding me? She's dead. Holy fucking shit. Get a sheet, Chrissy. Cover that up. Dude, you have to kill. I hate Ralphie. Ralph. Fuck this he? guy. Inside. Go get him. Now. She fell? It's my story. You stupid motherfucker. How oh. fucking dare you? That's the reason why you were passed the fuck over. It's my fault she's a klutz. Yeah. You out of your fucking mind laying your hands on me? Just shut the oh, fuck up. 20 years old, this girl. That too. Let's go. <sighs> I think we need to talk. Oh, shit. Breaking up. I think that maybe we've been saying too much of each other. And? I don't know. I mean, he wanted to hit it and quit it. I really like you, Meadow. He changed after the sex. This is really happening. I don't think we should see each other anymore. Are you breaking up with me? Why? I mean, things were going so good. Look, honestly, you're too negative. What? What are you talking about? I really didn't want to get into this. Right in the middle of we're studying together? That's kind of fucked up, bro. Like, what? And you're just gonna go back to studying? Hey, what's up, Doc? Sometimes even painful sessions can break the log jam. Yes. And in this? <laughs> you're being particularly quiet today. Sometimes I got nothing to say. Carmela is here. She's giving up her time to talk about your panic attacks. A young man who worked for us, our own sanitation, he, uh, he died. Who? Who? You don't know. His name is Tracy or something. He died, that's all. Slipped and fell. Work-related death. Sad when they go so young. Hmm. And he has to be this uh, distant with Carmel because he doesn't want to make her an accessory. He has made mention of that before. So this is smart. How's Noah? You're right, Dad. He's a piece of shit. God, is there nothing to eat in this house? <laughs> <laughs> the bratty daughter is back. Who knows? Maybe she quit. I heard she went outside with Ralphie and never came back. Do yourself a favor. Keep what you hear to yourself. You want in the VIP room? It's 50 bucks to me, plus a blowjob later on. And the wheel just keeps turning. Very much All right, guys. So that was The Sopranos Season 3, Episode 6, titled University. That was a pretty good episode.
Um, I'm still not, not not too sure what to make of this whole Noah character. I feel like they're going down the route where he's just going to be the typical, I was nice until we had sex, and then I'm not nice anymore. You know, the usual tropish stuff, because like, now he broke up with Meadow, and he's like almost made this like like this complete 180 turn. And I'm just like, what the fuck is going on here? He called Meadow like overly negative, which in a way she is. You know, she she does harbor some resentment towards her father and trying to, you know, kind of stick it to him, you know, by continuing the relationship with Noah and, and the fact that Noah is so, I guess, receptive and he's, he is emotional and he is kind of, um, uh, he does care about other people. I'm sure he was able to kind of pick up on that or pick up on the negative vibes. Meta was kind of maybe like not maybe intentionally giving off, but she was giving him off. Um, but I just feel like they're going through that tropish moment where, he got what he wanted. He banged Meadow. He banged a soprano. And now he's cutting ties with her. At first I thought what, what he was going to be like, uh, like an over-the-top scumbag. And just maybe like take advantage of, um, what was her name? Cass? Cat, uh, Caitlin? And um, go from there. But nothing happened there. But yeah, it was just so, so strange. Like I thought something else was going to maybe happen with the storyline. Like, I thought maybe um, they're going to take this to, to another level. I just didn't expect them to break up in this episode. I guess is what I'm trying to say. I, I didn't expect that. Um, so I guess I, I just wonder what, how Meadow's going to kind of take that or what's going to happen when Tony and Carmelo find out. Because, you know, they're going to be happy. You know, it is what it is. But uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens going forward with that. Ralph. This guy is a scumbag. He's a piece of shit. I do not like him. The actor is doing a fantastic job because he has that, that Weasley voice <laughs> type of thing. You know what I mean? I'm just fucking around, you know, that type of guy. The one that you're just like, oh, my God, this guy's so annoying. Like the guy at the bar you don't want to be around. The guy who's like, oh, look what I can do. You know, just doing weird random ass shit. And then when someone gets hurt, he's like, what? We're just fucking around. Don't be a bitch. You know, trying to put everything off like it's a joke and it's nothing is ever his fault. And he took it over the line. He beat the shit out of Tracy. He killed her. You know, at first I was, I was a little he hesitant because I was like, okay, he's sounding a little endearing. And he's like, oh, yeah, I got to take care of you when you're nine months pregnant. Well, we'll get a little house. And then. It turned. Like, I knew that something was going to happen. There's no way. You know, because Tony tried to be real with her. Like, dude, you have problems. You have a kid already. Why would you want another one with this piece of shit? Like, seriously? And she literally thought he was... Like, she thought there was the possibility that that piece of shit was going to care about her given what he's doing with all around with everybody else with his friends just swinging around shit. You know, well, I'm just fucking around. Man, I hate that guy. And the fact that Tony actually kind of laid into him, I like that. But I also am a little worried because he is, he is, like you said, he is a made man. He knows people. And there are people who want, who are probably waiting for something like this to happen to kind of strike back. You know what I mean? So I don't know what's going to happen. I just feel like punching Ralph was a good move. But is it the move you want to make? You know, because now you're kind of putting yourself in a vulnerable position. You're letting your emotions run wild with this. I don't know. And then they're kind of setting up the whole uh, Jackie, uh, Jackie Jr. over here, trying to set up that storyline with him and, and Meadow. Because now Meadow is free now. And Jackie's in pursuit looking for her. You know what I mean? He said hello. So I feel like they're setting that up to kind of like merge the families in a weird way. Maybe that's going to be like their saving grace or something. But, but they're, they're moving pieces, you know, as we're getting closer and closer to the finale. I'm entertained as hell. I want to see what happens going forward. I don't really care about the Caitlyn stuff in general. She's just kind of annoying. I mean, maybe there's nothing more to it, um, uh, to, to the Meadow and Noah storyline, than it's just Caitlyn being the catalyst to their breakup. Like, he didn't want to be mean by saying, like, your roommate sucks. But that's such a petty thing to break up over, I think. Because then Meadow could just go to his room and then he could, like, like, literally take his own advice about setting boundaries and say, no, you cannot come in. I'm writing a paper. Please go somewhere else. Like, I get you want to be the nice guy, but... I guess you got to weigh out your possibilities, right? But either way, it's kind of a bitchy move to 
take Meadow out to study, throw lovey-dovey eyes, and all of a sudden it's like, hey, I think we need to talk. First of all, how long were you sitting there? When did you arrive? I mean, what was going on here? Like, immediately, yes, you say, hey, I think we should break up and then walk away. But he broke up seemingly already in the middle of their session and then puts his glasses on back on and then he just turns, goes back to reading his fucking book. Now, that's, that shit was wild to me. I don't know. But crazy shit nonetheless. Can't wait to see what happens next. And uh, I think I'm just getting it there. All right, guys. If you guys enjoyed my review, enjoyed my reaction, you guys want to see this episode with me in its entirety, the option available to you right now over on Patreon. Links are in the description down below or pinned in the top comment. Can't support me on Patreon. Can support me right here on YouTube. All you gotta do is like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. Now I'm gonna get out of here and I'll catch you guys next time in the next episode of The Sopranos will be Season 3, Episode 7. So until then, adios guys. And if you liked what you saw, tell your friends, tell your family, tweet about it, and if you didn't like it, shut the fuck up.